Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough Episode 3. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Daniel. So we're back with more Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough. So in the last episode, we uh, we got ourselves our second Pokemon, Johnny, which I'm going to show you guys right here. And uh, I did train him off before recording this uh, walkthrough. So let's go and uh, get to Petaburg City. Or Petaburg. Yeah, Petaburg City. Alright, so um, of course, in the last episode, I defeated everybody around this route. So we don't need to worry about... Uh, well, actually, we need to do boring berries. So we don't need to worry about no trainers, you know, interrupting us while we're getting to Petaburg City. All right, um, let's get this two Petra berries here. All right. All right, so now we're going to go to Petaburg City, the city where my dad is at. Yes, for the very first time, a Pokemon trainer actually has a dad. Really surprising, isn't it? Well, actually, not really. I'm like, this game is like how old? Like, like seven eight years old so it's not really much of a surprise all right you know instead of just trying to buy something let's go back out and go to the Petaburg gym because we have to go visit our dad and all for to uh, talk to him or whatever I already healed up so don't worry about it all right so now we're in the Petaburg gym hmm well if it isn't Daniel so you're all finished moving in I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself oh I see you're with your Pokemon hmm then I guess you're going to be a trainer like me, Daniel. That's great news. I'm look I'll be looking forward to it. Then this guy comes in here. He's like, um, I I like a to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're uh, oh right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Vanderturf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm. I see. Daniel, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan, I'll loan you my Pokemon. So he gets a Zigzagoon? The fuck? Oh, wow, Pokemon. Hmm. I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Why are we, why are we need to know that he's receiving Pokeballs? We don't give a fuck. Alright, so, uh, ba basically, this is just another way on how to learn how to catch a Pokemon. For people who not know how to catch a Pokemon, which is really surprising because, you know, it's I, I used it in the last video. Fuck, it's fucked hard. No, I'm just kidding. All right, please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! All right, so basically this is just him trying to catch a freaking Ralts. We don't give a fuck. So um, let's just hurry up and super speed this. Come on. All right. So now he's gonna throw a Pokeball here, and he's gonna catch this automatically because this is part of the script that he's gonna do. All right. So he called himself a um a Ralts. He's like, so did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Daniel, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Daniel. So, in the end of the game, Wally's going to be your true rival. Yeah, sadly, May's not going to be your rival. She's just she's just a Pokemon trainer that just walks by. But but Wall is gonna be the real rival that you want to face against. You like you? I'm pretty sure you can face against him like anytime you want. All right, so let's go check out what Pokemon we can find in the next route. And this is Route 104, I believe. Yup. All right. Um, there are only like two trainers around here because all these little guys are acting like pussies. So let's go and uh, check out this trainer over here that's running through the sand. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Wow, that's great, you fucking retard. <laughs> like. Really? Like, why do you even care? Alright, so let's go to... Let's go get some tackles in. Oh, God, he's about to go for a bite. Um, tail whip. Tail whip. Hopefully he doesn't kill... Yes, it failed. Die, faggot, die. Alright, so we killed the little C dot here. Uh, here comes another... Here comes a Taylo. Let's go use Cluster. Uh, let's go for an Ember attack. See how much that does. Uh, that did a lot. That did a fair amount. Uh, one more ember, and it, this guy is done. All right, so over here is the little guy over here. He's like, huh, the sea, huh, blah, blah, blah. You know, acting high or whatever. All right, so let's go over to this other guy over here, this rich boy. This rich boy. All right, and uh, let's go face against him. Winston. Fuck, it's hard. All right. How do you miss? All right, so let's go for a tackle. One more tackle, and this guy is done. Wow, okay. Okay. This guy is obviously a freaking fag because he's going to use a full restore like he's cool. Let's go for a focus energy. Let's go for an ember. 
Uh, let's go for Scratch. Alright. So Cluster gets to level 11, which is good. Um, let's go... Alright. Johnny's already in first place. Alright. So now we're in Petaboak Woods, where we can get ourselves our third Pokemon trainer. I mean, third Pokemon teammate. So, um... The Pokemon I'm going to be finding is basically a grass type. I hope you guys can figure out who it is. I'm like, I'm going to spoil it later in the video, so you don't need to worry about that. Alright, Tackle. Oh, wow, that's a critical hit. Nice. Alright, let's go look for... Uh, nope. Don't want that one. Let's go use Tackle. Crap! I knew I was going to get poisoned. That's the reason why I brought myself um, some antidotes, because I knew I was going to get poisoned. I knew it. Oh, yes, Headbutt! You don't know how bad I, you know how badly I wanted that move because headbutt is such a good move. Like it makes um opponents like flinch, and then like you can just go and hit off with another one. Uh, silicon, I mean silcoon. I want that one. It's not. It's the Pokemon's nowhere around here. Where is the Pokemon at? Oh god, it's a bug type train. Whoa! Why do you have so many freaking Wurmples? Not cool, man. Seriously, you like that? You like those um those Caterpie trainers from freaking? cancel region my god so worse that is so bad all right so let's go just you know just grind through these wormples with uh with ember attack and stuff it's not really not not gonna be hard or one more one more pokemon and this guy's done because this is kind of stupid i don't know why this guy has so many wormples all right all right uh hopefully we can find our pokemon because this guy's not appearing anywhere um, maybe it's because, uh, maybe because he's not in this version. Maybe he's only in a Ruby version. Oh, here he is. Good. All right, so we got ourselves our uh, Shroomish here. Uh, let's go for a tackle, you know, uh, try to get him um, into our team. All right, let's go for a Pokeball. See if we can catch this thing. Sally, it's a girl, but it doesn't matter. Girl boy, I'm still going to be happy with the Pokemon I got. And, yes, we got ourselves our own Shroomish. Finally. Alright, so since it's a girl, I'm going to have to name it something else, because when it was a boy, I named it, uh... What did I name it? I don't even remember. Oh, no, no, never mind. I didn't, rem I didn't even name it anything. Whatever. Alright, so let's name Shroomish, uh... Molly. Yeah! <laughs> Molly! So, no, I'm just kidding. Um... So, yeah, let's name her, let's name her Molly. Uh, let's see her stats for her real quick, because... Every time I catch a Pokemon, I always check their stats. Alright, so it's a Daco Nature. Um, attack is... Attack is okay. Speed is very low. Um, and it's best... Is it's defense and special defense. Special attack is in the middle. Alright, so now we got all that done. Let's go and, uh... Use a potion on Molly here. And, uh, let's go and, uh, train up Molly real quick. Oh, God! Alright, uh, let's go with Switch Pokemon. Um, uh, headbutt. Uh, one more headbutt. And this guy... What? Are you serious? I hate growls, man. They always keep spamming me with growls. Alright, so if you go up here, um, you'll see a guy who's just looking around. And then he notices us. And he's like, hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish here around here? I really love that Pokemon. Oh, I have one myself. I was going to ambush you, but you have to dwindle into Purple Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You Devon researcher, hand over those papers. Ah! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You got to help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect them? <laughs> no one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Alright, so we're going to battle this Team Aqua Grunt here. We're obviously going to get fucked up, so... Let's go. Oh, God. That guy just did a critical hit on me. I'm going to have to fucking chill with that. All right. So, let's go switch Pokemon here. Let's go for Ember. Um, Sand Attack. No problem. No, one more Ember, and this guy's done. Molly got to level 6, and we defeated the Team Aqua Grunt. Nice. All right. Ugh. You got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and bow me again. Wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. Hi, you faggot. Oh, and hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something which... Rustboro. I hate that town. Uh, I'll let you go today. Whew! That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know. I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Really? A great ball? Eh, why the heck. Alright. Didn't that Team Aqua Thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? 
Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. All right. So apparently we're in something. We're in the midst of something bad right now. Something more devious and scary. All right. So let's go and uh, heal up Molly here because she really got fucked up with that critical hit. Like, oh my God. All right. So let's go uh, train up a little bit more. Uh, let's go for an absorb attack. I love Azorb. It's it's so much easier. But when she levels up, though, she's gonna learn uh, Mega Drain, which is really oh my god, she just did a critical hit. I'm done. All right, one more Azorb, and we're done. All right, level seven, and we learn Stun Spore. That's a good because not only do we have a uh, uh, Spore effect, which is a which is an ability that if you touch a Stroomish, you will get any type of status conditions like sleep. Uh, poison, or st or stat or paralysis effect. That's the that's the only three. That's the only three uh status effects you can get. Other than that, that's all it. You can't get no burns effects, whatever, or any frozen effects. I don't think that can be possible. All right. So next up, we want. I think we need to train up Johnny here, but we want to do that for later. Um, here comes another freaking zigzag goon here. Uh, let's go for another Zorb attack. Another Zorb attack. This guy is just really falling for this. Alright, let's stun Spore. There we go. We're good. So let's go for a tackle. One, one more tackle. And we're done. Well, I'll just go for a Zorb attack because it's going to be more easier. Alright, so we got to level 8. Cool. Uh, we found ourselves in Ether. Alright. We're going to use that just in case we run out of uh, power points for our moves. Alright, so we're finally out of Pebbleburg Woods, and now we're into Route 104. Finally, good. Alright, so let's go save the game here, um, and this is where we're in the video. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. Remember, click like, click subscribe if you haven't subscribed to me yet, and uh, please comment. I'll like, I'll appreciate your opinions, and I'll see you guys later in the next Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. Goodbye.